So my name is Kira King. I'm archivist for the Bowers Trust, which is a charity that works with business archives in Scotland. Uh, I'm the deputy convener on the executive committee for the Business Archives Council of Scotland, uh, also known as BACS or the council. Uh, so BACS was set up in 1960 by businessmen then, uh, academics and archivists who were interested in business archives and industrial history and wanted to take action to ensure the preservation of business archive collections in Scotland and encourage their use. Sure, so the Council produced a journal from 1977, initially called Scottish Industrial History and then more recently Scottish Industrial and Business History. So there's over 40 years worth of content in those journals. Um, they were a member benefit, so members got a printed copy of the journal. We had them digitised maybe 15 years ago, um, and these were available as PDFs on our website, but using the PassView platform and putting the content that we had had digitised onto that platform has transformed their use and discoverability. So being able to search across the, the text using keywords, uh, look for particular subjects or authors, means that all the great content in there from you know traditional uh, articles we might expect for Scottish business and industry. So we've got stuff on, on the whiskey industry, shipbuilding, engineering, uh, lots of textiles articles. Uh, we've also got an article on a mousetrap factory, um, salt making in Ayrshire. So some really kind of uh, fairly niche content. Uh, and the fact that all that material is now discoverable through the great search function that Passy has means that um, the material is just much more uh, better used and, and, and more widely accessible. So it'll be of benefit to our members, obviously, first and foremost. So our membership has, has been given access to it and now uh, can search through the content that they, they couldn't previously do so. But putting it on PassView in a, in a kind of open access format means that we can make the, the research that's been published by the Business Archive Council of Scotland much more widely available to anyone with an interest in, in Scottish business and industrial history. I think just having the, being able to read the journal in a virtual sense, I think the kind of page turner feature, being able to open it up in a kind of full screen format and, and see the journal uh, virtually uh, as, a, as a digital product rather than kind of physically in your hand. So I'm, I'm not sure many people still have their copies of the kind of 1977 edition of the journal. So being able to, to flick through that, uh, a lot of the early journals had lovely illustrations on the front cover by uh, one of our members, John Hume. Uh, so he did a lot of the, the early covers. So being able to see his, his artwork as well uh, and some other illustrations that were used in, in later journals. So uh, photographs from collections, that sort of thing, extracts from, from business records. Um, so yeah, so it, it lets us see, see those things and, and be able to zoom in on some of those details. So you might not need to zoom in on the text, but the zoom function to, to zoom in on the illustrations where they appear is really great. great. But yeah, just the, the the page turning feature uh, lets you replicate that, that feeling of reading a journal, I think, which is great. Yeah, definitely. So we plan to relaunch the journal in 2024. So we've had a, a change in editorial committee. So our previous editor, uh, Sam McKinstry and Alistair Doby stepped down uh, over COVID. Uh, and, and as a committee, we've been rethinking what we do with the journal and, and do we have capacity to to take it on and, and keep publishing it and, and we're committed to doing that but having this platform makes that a lot easier so we've now got a great platform to, to allow people to see what we have and what we're publishing um, so we definitely plan to add content to that so we'll be relaunching the journal with a new edition in 2024 hopefully um, so yeah being able to point um, people to the past uh, versions of the journal and, and the back catalogue will hopefully help inform what way we shape the new iteration of the journal. So for people to be able to see what sort of material we have published uh, will help us decide what we want to publish in the future as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so we definitely have plans to, to continue to add to it um, and I think the open access model is, is a really attractive uh, part of that. So our membership, kind of first and foremost, they probably know the most about the journal. So that's comprised of, of uh, archivists, so people working with business collections primarily uh, in Scotland, but also further afield. Um, academics, so people are interested in uh, kind of economic uh, business, industrial history. Uh, but also we have a wide membership which who just have a general interest in, in Scottish business and industrial history. Um, so, so really they're our membership, but I think that audience uh, 
we will find them outside of our own members as well. So there's people across uh, Scotland, the UK, the world uh, who are interested in, in all aspects of, of kind of Scotland's history and, and business and, and economic history play a big part in how Scotland has developed as a nation. Uh, so it would be great to have those kind of um, journal articles and research material available to a much wider audience. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll see who, who comes and finds it. No, I think just for us as a, as a kind of volunteer-run organisation, um, charity, limited resources, it's been really great to, to partner with Passview and to, to have that technology made available to us to be able to, to share our content in a much more findable, searchable, discoverable way. Um, and it's, it's transformed what was a, a kind of set of material and, and a set of content that was there, but really quite limited use, I think. So someone would have to come to our website, scroll down, open a PDF, read through it to find an article and you know no one's going to do that across kind of 30 plus volumes of the journal so now they can go to Passview, put in a keyword that they're interested in and see what articles come up and it just makes it so much more discoverable so it's great.